Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD. Hope you guys are doing well. I am here with not only a demo, but also a how to set up the Touch ID fingerprint sensor on the iPhone 5S. Now you do get the option to enable Touch ID upon first setting up your iPhone, but for whatever reason, if you're not comfortable or you just don't want to set it up right away, it can be confusing after the fact. So what we're going to do is head over to settings. From there, we're going to scroll down to general. And from there, we're going to scroll down to passcode and fingerprint. Now from here, if you do not have passcode turned on, this is where you might get a little lost because if you scan down and try to select fingerprints, you notice that it's grayed out and will not work. Do not freak out. Your shiny new iPhone is not broken. All you got to do is go back up, turn passcode on, create one if you haven't already, enter that, and then now fingerprints will be available. We'll go ahead and select that, and from there, we can then add a fingerprint. Now, this can store up to five separate ones, so whether you want to store five different fingers, your family, essentially whoever you want to grant access to your phone. From there, we are greeted with the setup screen where you can select your finger of choice. So go ahead and place whichever finger you want to place down, hold it. It's going to tell you to place it, and then from there, it'll ask you to lift it, place it again, lift it again, place it again. And this will happen a few different times. It'll then ask you to move your finger between scans. Go ahead and click OK. It'll then ask you to adjust your grip to capture the edges of your print. After that, you should see a success screen, and that means it is virtual high five time because you are good to go. Lastly, you have the option to set it up where it only unlocks your phone, or additionally, you can set it up to do iTunes and App Store purchases as well. Overall, from first impressions, I am definitely impressed with the fingerprint touch sensor. It's a little weird not seeing the square icon on the Apple Home button, but it's solid, and if I had to sum it up, it works, and it works well. So that pretty much wraps up the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you found it helpful, and you are feeling like being awesome, go ahead and hit that like button. It is much appreciated. Aside from that, go ahead and let me know what you guys think of the touch ID with a comment down below, and if you have not subscribed, go ahead and click right here to do so. That way you do not miss out on any future iPhone 5S or 5C coverage. Got tons of that coming up. Again, this is Jonathan with TLD, and I will see you guys later.